Hey guys, what's up? Norman here, and today I'm bringing you a little gameplay from Dome, uh, Free for All, Season 75. Um, this game had me almost have a heart attack because I've I've tried so many times to pick up a Moab on Dome, and I guess I I, I watched videos online of people uh, their little strategies for Moabs on this map, and I guess I devised my own, which is this area. People spawn in this room right here at this pass through and spawn in the larger room. There's about two or three spawn spots right there. And if you just hold off this area, there's a very good chance you can get a lot of kills in a pretty quick succession. And it kind of sucks that I started the game off by dying right off the bat, but just, just that death pushed me forward more. And that poor bastard died like three or four times right in the first minute of the game. And it it kind of sucks to be him, but. Controlling this area is very good because you can move between spots. Uh, you, you'll see them during the game. It's it's pretty good. Only specialist, of course, because it's it's you can get a Moab without a specialist, but specialist helps you a lot more. So this is my office area right here. I like to sit here a couple times during the game for uh, sometimes prolonged amount of time because I feel too paranoid. I don't know where they're gonna be coming from. I don't know if they have assassin and. Uh, Basically, when you hold off, this, hold off this area, you're going to need a pretty quick trigger and your perception is to be on on the ball because if, if you miss someone off the corner of your eye, you're, you, they're going to kill you. So you got to be quick, you got to kill them fast, and I guess I'm being a bitch using that 1095, but I don't know, uh, I've been getting killed by, by it a lot every now and then, so sometimes I decide to bring it back and start killing ass with it, and well, I guess I picked up this game and I wrecked some ass, so... Dome is not an easy map to get a Moab on. Um, this is probably my first and only current Moab on Dome. Uh, I've come close many times, as has anybody else, but it's it's not easy because this map... Well, this game itself as a whole, the spawn system sucks. Some people know how to use it for them. Some people, the spawn system is very against them, and I don't know how that guy survived so many shots like that, but... This game is full of hit markers and bullshit left and right. You all know what I'm talking about. This this game is just freaking weird. But um, I don't know. Lately, I've been thinking about playing Battlefield 3 more because uh, Battlefield 3, in my opinion, is a better game because one, you rely less on kill streaks. Two, less campers because half the time you're running your ass off to get somewhere. But then again, I guess that can cause more camping. But Three, uh, between Battlefield 2, Bad Company, and this, uh, and Battlefield 3, there was a large, you know, you can tell the game, people made changes. They went back and started from, you know, with the better engine and all that whatnot. Modern Warfare 2 and 3, it just, just looks like a same game, different maps, different skins, you know. But that's what everyone says, and, and they all say it because it's true. Like, if, if a lot of people say the same thing, it's bound to be true because, well, they say it. I really don't know. This this game is just this game is more annoying than anything. I've been playing Minecraft a lot lately. If you guys haven't noticed on my channel, I've been uploading more Minecraft than anything because just Minecraft is just a very fun and chill game. You can't really get too angry at it. There's no bullshit spawning and you know fucking FMG9 akimbo bastards and whatnot. You know it's, it's just just a fun game. And Battlefield 3, I, I tend to get less angry at that game because if you die, it's because someone's better than you or camping, but uh, more than half the time, they're just better than you were. I got, there's no luck, there's no, like, crazy lag. I mean, think about it. This game, uh, MAG for the PS3, uh, MAG, uh, Massive Action Game, whatever it's called. Multi Massive, whatever. That game had 256 players on the map at the same time on one connection, and the game didn't even lag then. So, I don't get how Call of Duty has 12 people on the map, and still has lag. It's, it's, it's ridiculous sometimes this game. But what can you do? It's, it's Activision and well, who might say Infinity Ward. You know, big freaking whoop. Um, I'm actually not very happy that there's a Call of Duty game coming out every year. I mean, if they made it every two years or every other year, it would be a lot cooler. They would have more time to work on the game to make it better, but, you know, there's the Moab. That guy just finally got smart and killed off the uh, the sensor I had put down there. It's kind of funny. 
but yeah, uh, I really hate having no sensor. I have it on every class. It's very helpful. But uh, there's a game. Should be a 30 and 1. Would have been perfect, but you can't ask for too much. There's explosion, me not doing anything because I forget half the time to, you know, celebrate in slow motion, but there you guys go. Simple little moab. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's on Dome. Type 95.